okay? And uh, by the way, while, while we're doing that, and pass it around because I bet you've never had a play with this. It's still hot, by the way, so maybe I'll let it cool. You can have a play with that. Isn't it funny the way science is done in secondary school? All right? You learn about pictures of the thing. The picture doesn't look like the thing. And you're not allowed to play with the thing. Okay? That's really bad. All right? No. So, anyway, this is my metallic strip. Can you see what it's made, the way it's made? Okay. It's got brass on one side, a strip of brass, and then a strip of steel on the other. All right? And it's riveted together. Okay. Now, what you do is you put it into a flame. Ah, but what do you think is going to happen? It's going to bend. I don't suppose you know which way it bends. If I put the steel end down, do you know which way it bends? You've either got up or down. 50 50. You think up? Anybody think down? Which is all. Let's have a go. Alright? So, <laughs> we've got one uh, a hypothesis that the, the it's going to bend downwards with the steel down. Okay? No yeah, something mm -hmm. like that. Alright, so we'll just hold it there again at the top of the flame. And we'll see what happens. It's not very dramatic now, just in case you're expecting the thing here. Where I'm standing, it's hard to see actually. Okay, done. Alright, steel side down, it bends down. Alright, that tells you that the brass expands more. The brass is expanding on the top and it's bending it downwards because the steel isn't expanding at the same rate. Okay? And to reverse it, same again, we throw the water. Expansion and then the opposite is contraction. Nice